welcome back to the channel and hope you enjoyed the last episode of the road trip around the Cromarty Firth. Um, so we're back across onto the Moray coast and we're heading east. So for all four days we're going to head across to camp tonight at Finhorn. Beautiful place, amazing beaches here. And um, so we'll just stop by for a couple of photos at the rather large area base up here. This is Kinloss and right beside here it's RAF Kinloss. It's another uh, large RAF base which was a bomber base and like Lupers is now under care maintenance and home to our army regiment. But there is a rather cool gate plane up here we have to stop for a picture of. There it is in Nimrod. Fantastic. So there's a front end of one of these at RAF, um, former RAF, East Fortune, uh, the National Scottish National Museum of Flight here in East Lothian. Um, yeah, impressive aircraft. And of course now we've got the Poseidon aircraft doing a similar role. So that's the campsite on the right in there I'm going to go to. We'll go a spin round Finhorn let you see some of the beaches and stuff. So to the west of Finhorn, across the estuary is Coolburn Sands, here it is, massive forest, massive long beach. And to east of Finhorn is a seven mile curved bay all the way to Burra Head. And if you're a World War II Defences fan you'll love this place, it's like the Normandy coastline. And there must be over 20 pillboxes on it, all lined, um, it's like something out the Normandy coast of the sea. There's even an Atlantic wall that was built for training because they were using all this well as defence if it was used for training. So it's a fascinating place and it's definitely worth a visit whether you're up in a camper van or with a caravan or as I'm doing tonight camping. Uh, it's a lovely place in summer, quite busy obviously in the tourist season but yeah it's a great place. Pillbox there has been blocked off, they're everywhere. So, um, we'll just go back round and we're going to go and get picked into the campsite because uh, I'm starving. I've done over 300 miles, oh, just, over, just under 300 miles today, I think, about 295 or something. No problem at all, so comfortable. What a great wee bike! It's a real adventure bike and it's only four grand. What's not to like? So, we weave our way through these potholes and get booked in. So it's £18 a night for a single tent, 
and uh, I don't mind paying because I'm not going out paying money in meals and pubs or in restaurants when I'm up. I'm just doing normal cooking and stuff. So, but put something into the economy. Um, <laughs> so, what a cool we play, so good to see all types of from uh, pickups to tents, caravan, pods, everything's all here. That's what caravan camping site should be. Good sign for everyone. Anyway, I'll get pitched up because I'm starving and I'll get a stove on. Get some pasta made, get a can of cider opened because I'm thirsty as well. That's me just here in front of the map. Barbecue area as well was provided in benches, which is good. Originally bought for car camping, this tent's actually proven ideal on the motorbike with the porch. There's also foot pad you can put in there if you want. I left it out as I'm using the stove. Um, but yeah, it's good. So, next morning, packed up. I'll lay out early, it's only about half eight or something. The campsite's still quiet. So, I'm off east along the coast. So, let's go. 45 miles. That's what I've done yesterday. That was a lot more than I thought. And I need to get some fuel. So I'll get some fuel on the way out of town. So I've lucked out of the weather uh, yesterday and today is looking good all day but it's heavy rain coming in tonight. As long as I'm parked up and pitched up at the tent before that comes on I'm not really worried because tomorrow I'm just going to be heading home, heading down south from uh, wherever I camp tonight obviously. And I'll be meeting up with we Mark tomorrow so let's just see what today brings. Engineer Regiment, that's who's based here now at Kinloss. cover today, lots of places to go and visit. So I'm going to try and keep as much to the coast as I can which might mean taking a few roads just marked as white roads on a normal A5 road atlas. I'd like to have a bigger map than that so I'm just going to wing it and see where we get to. But we're basically we're basically heading toward Bucky and stuff um, and then we'll be going right along toward McDuff and we'll see how far we get today. On our left 
here is Roseleaf Forest, which runs east of Flossie Mouth, and it finally ends at Kingston, which is where the Spey Estuary is. The mighty Spey comes down here into the North Sea, and um, it's a massive, again, massive coastal defences along there. Amazing um, damp blocks. The symmetry of is unreal, unbelievable how straight they all are lined out. This is on the other side of Rosalie Forest, back to the coast, and this is Burrowhead. And um, nice little place again, worth stopping in at. Good views back up to Finhorn of the coast. And our next stop east of here is obviously Lossy Mouth. We're about typhoon, our air typhoon action hopefully today, I hope they're up. Now, down here is an amazing safari Land Rover, exactly the same as my dad had that we grew up in. It's a 110 V8 Safari with a double skin roof. There it is, look. So that's what we grew up in, one of those old landies. Here I'm pointing back, that's Coolman Forest and Finhorn that I'm pointing at now. And then right round this whole bay, Seven Mile Bay, is Roselee Forest to here. tractor, old Porston Major, look at that, unrestored, just run as it should be, brilliant. And we'll pass the old landy again and then we'll head out and head for Rossi Mouth.
I just heard aircraft taking off. Typhoons definitely. Um, I'll look at how I'm going to get round to the other side. I should just go right round the base um, and then pull up, see if we can get a, a then one of the runways. It's getting the right runway they're taking off on as well. Anyway, parking up first of all in town. A very, very flat sea today. Very surprised. Larry of Typhoon seem to be doing some takeoff and landings, looping round. Clean around there, quite right. So, you can see the similarities up here to East Lothian. I think if uh, I had to move somewhere, I could live up here in Lossy Mouth, no problem. Um, for my motorbikes, for my World War II history, for our coastal cycling, or even golf courses to get a part time job on. No, I could live here quite happily. It's great up here. Planes are taking off from the southwest runway. Um, so that's easy enough to find. Um, so just keep following this road all the way around the base. We'll get parked up and hopefully get some some footage of them taking off. Here we are, right here. Though.
Well, how cool was that? Full on uh, scramble there with the typhoons. Brilliant. Um, so I'll head back round into Austria, so I'm going to have to head east out of the town. Um, I'll get a photo of the gate actually, that'd be cool to do. That's cool, we've got our RAF lossy mouth visit done. A bit of plane spotting, excellent. So we'll nip down into town and we'll park up. We've got a new bridge um, on the East Beach now. Um, so we'll go down there and get parked up. We actually stayed on an Airbnb here. Um, back in 2000, late 2020 I think, or 21, I can't remember now. It's when the Covid had all sort of lessened secure and all that and you're actually allowed to travel. Uh, I know it's midwinter and we're up here and we did loads of cycling and walking. So flats on the right, right there, this stayed. And we met a chap here with a 500 bullet army green and I had a seat on it. And then Glenda was like, oh that suits you doesn't it? And I was like, is that the guy you heard that? I'm going to have to get one. And then of course the classic came out which answered all my wishes in a motorbike. Classic looks, bomb proof reliability. And that's where we are now. So let's park up and get a photo of this new bridge. I'm glad to see they've left the foundations of the old one there. I never got to go over that. It was actually um, cordoned off for safety and all that crap um, when we were up because I wanted to actually just cycle over it. Um, <laughs> it's quite a cool rickety looking bridge. Anyway, here's a couple of pics. So there's the foons from the old one, and there's the new bridge. Yeah, it looks alright, the new bridge. So, yeah, it leads off down to the beach, the East Beach, which heads eventually to Kingston and the Spey estuary. Finhorn to Lossiemouth. Um, nice bit of the country, definitely. I love it up here. So, thanks again for watching. We're going to wrap this up 25 minutes and we'll continue on our uh, Maori Coast route in the next film. So, leave a like and comment. I'll get back to you.
and take care all see you all soon bye for now